Friday morning. Crystal Porter looks to attack. Weaves inside for an uncontested layup, 2 nothing. Kenesha. Green. Tried pick and roll, now left alone. She'll take that shot, nothing but net. Margaret half and our daughter. Miskovic in the front court, spins into the paint. Miskovic back out to Cooley. Open from three, nothing but net for Sarah Cooley. Inside to Schuwen. Diagonal pass out to Mann. She'll take the open three, and she knocks it down. Back out to half and our daughter, tough pass. Welch gets it back, looks to go baseline. Gets inside, layup, good, Maria Welch. Shot, but not that time. Stroutman, nice pass to McClure. 17 footer, nothing but net for Aaron McClure. The freshman back inside to McClure. Against Welch, freshman against freshman. McClure goes up and finishes, and we're tied at 12. Miskovich now has it. Inside and then back out to DeHaan. Her three, nothing but net for Lauren DeHaan. Grips back in the lead by three. And short, no good. Rebound tapped around, pulled away by Sarah Cooley, and here come the Grips. They have numbers. DeHaan in the front court. Nice pass to Wells. Her finish is good, and the Grips back up by five. You see the fire. Two key players out with injuries already. Manns, she'll take the three, and she knocks that down. Morgan Manns, 40% three point shooter, good there, and it's a two point Kinesis lead. Henrik's daughter tries to go baseline. Her pull up, counted, and it goes, and it does. Sarah, Henrik's daughter, with an opportunity for a three point. Stops her dribble, finds the cutter. Henrik's daughter goes to the rack with the left hand and finishes. Back to Johnson. McClure, they swing it back out, open three, and knocking that down is Strautmain. Paul is Strautmain, 33% three point shooter. Porter, cross court, half to our daughter. Her three, nothing but net. Margaret, half to our daughter. And oh, she was on my team. <laughs> and I didn't have to go up against her. Straubman, her three, knocks it down, and we're tied again for the third time this afternoon. In the low block to Johnson. Thought about the jump shot, now back out. Napolitano knocks down the three. Maria Napolitano, 29% from behind the arc. Good on that one, and it's a one point game. McClure. Being harassed by Miskovic. McClure looks to drive and finishes with the left hand. And we're tied again for the third time this afternoon. Porter. Back inside to Porter. Turnaround shot. Nothing but net for Crystal Porter. Porter again. Porter against Stroutmane. Finds the cutter. DeHaan. And she lays it up and in. Kanisha's the biggest lead of the afternoon. Now looks to step back with six to shoot. Cross court pass. Fabry here. Three. Nothing but net for the coach's daughter. McClure pulls up from 10, no good. Rebound controlled by Schuwen. Put back goes down, and Quinnipiac seizes the lead once again. Half. Porter in the low block. Porter goes up and under with the right hand and finishes. Huge Post up, she can handle the ball. She crosses over, looks to attack. Her runner off glass, and good. What a terrific finish by the freshman. Then our daughter to Porter. Porter diagonal out to Welch. She'll take the three. And a big three by the freshman for Canisius. Front court, hands off to Martucci. Martucci in the paint, her shot goes down. McClure, Stroutman in the block, goes up with the left hand and finishes. That's a tough matchup for Canisius down low to McClure. McClure looks to go baseline, spins. McClure goes up and puts it home, and now Quinnipiac is pulling away. Gonna jump to block this shot, take it right to Crystal Porter. Pass inside, laying it up and in. Margaret Hafton, our daughter, with nine this afternoon. Miskovich with a steal against Martin. Miskovich looks to finish, and she'll go to the line to shoot two. Porter, McClure, slashes inside and finishes for Quinnipiac. On to Haunt for Kinesius. Back to Miskovich. She drives and lays it up and in. Miskovich. Dribbles into pressure, swings to Cooley. She's open from three. Nothing but net for Sarah Cooley. What matchup. Napolitano to McClure. She'll take that 15-footer. Wow. She knocks it down. McClure. McClure looks to go. Kicks to the corner. Johnson from three. Rattles it home. This is the foul shot, and that will do it this afternoon at the Kessler Athletic Center. Quinnipiac trailing most of this game. Pulls away in the fourth quarter. And they'll win it by 12 this afternoon, their fourth straight win for Canisius. They have lost now six of the last seven. And welcome back to the Kessel Athletic Center. Quinnipiac beating Canisius today here at the Kessel Athletic Center. All right, Coach Fabry, the game for the most part early on, Canisius looks like they were able to do what they wanted to do. What kind of adjustments did you want? Well, I'm, you know, Terry had his team playing today, you know, uh, losing Mills just uh, 48 hours. And my goodness, they came in ready to play 60% in the first half. I don't even think we did that much better in the second half defending them. They were just playing with a lot of inspiration and 
they were making shots. They made us really work hard in the second half. We just kind of, we had to dig down and just find some way to get the ball. And I just think that it wasn't necessarily our defense. They just they just cooled off a little bit in the second half. We were able to still hang around and make some some big plays offensively and get at the end of the third and then stretch it in the fourth. Yeah, but talk about hard to Aaron McClure, your freshman. I mean, he really took over that game in the fourth quarter. She was fantastic. I thought her and Paula uh, really gave us a lift. And it was really nice to see Adelie Martucci for us. Had a big game for us as well. She had been struggling a little bit from the floor. So, but Aaron definitely spearheaded us and gave us a offensively so that was really good to see and you know we came up here and it was really important for us to not only play well but you know get a win and anytime you can go on the road and especially this buffalo swing for us to get two big conference road wins this is really big for us going forward as we continue to grow and and, and get better with this team and it really sounded like you were kind of enjoying the chase here a little yeah. bit after of course the team that was chased all last year that being said you know about to put together a championship team you know this league's wide open this yeah. year how do you feel about your forward well you know what i'm just really pleased with our weekend's effort um you know again getting on the road having not had we didn't win a conference game yet on the road and be able to get on the road and and get away with two wins out of uh, up here in buffalo um a lot, you know it wasn't really pretty but i'm really glad we were able to do it sorry a little a lot of things running through my mind right <laughs> now but, um you know it was a really important weekend for us and i think you know again well while we'd really, our identity has been a lot of defense and we didn't really shut down Canisius today. I thought they played a great game. Um, I'm really pleased that we were able to get these two wins and going forward and keep breeding a little confidence and then seeing different players emerge and play better and overall the team get the confidence and individual players get confidence, um, you know, mid-January. It's good to see this time of, see this time of the year. Congratulations, Coach. Thank you.